What's up guys, Arbisor Rex here and today we're going to be doing our first ever podcast that is going to be called the Gaming Community Podcast with our four hosts, Ed Raptor, Awesome, Staker Shock, and me, Arbisor Rex, and we also have our very first guest, the other J or J. Make sure you like your favorite. And the, <laughs> this podcast is going to be primarily audio, well, only audio for now. We might uh, do cameras in the future, but for now we're just going to keep it audio, keep it simple, keep it easier to upload. And uh, what are you guys look, looking at right now? It's probably just some random picture that whatever Zarb decided to post. And um, <laughs> bo- all Ed Raptor, Staker Shock, and Zarbasaur, they all have YouTube channels. Their links will be in the description. Check them out. They're all really good. Uh, Staker Shock mostly does commentaries. Ed Raptor does trolls and funny moments as well as Zarb. So, uh, yeah, Other J is just a friend of ours. We decided he would be a good first guest because he knows a lot about, you know, YouTube and things like that. Which brings us to mainly what we're going to be talking about today. What we're going to be talking about today is mostly just YouTube, people in the YouTube yeah. community, people in the gaming community, things like that. So let's start right off with, uh, you know, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a game we all play. Now let's talk about the COD community. What, what's the COD community? What's that like? Let's, uh, give us an opinion on the COD community Well, it's today. been shit right now, you know. It's been incredible. <laughs> And Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2, but now it just turned into shit. At least I think. I just hate the COD community. Gotta love the Target Finder LMG. Staker, what do you think? Target (laughs) Finder LMGs, Bouncing Betty, C4, (laughs) Remington. Remington. Uh, I personally Um, think... So basically what you're saying is... I personally think everything was going... I think personally everything was going good until... Sort of Modern Warfare 3 time. I think like the first week of Modern Warfare. I sort of liked Modern Warfare the first week. But after that, a a lot of my friends sort of went back to Black Ops because of how bad most people thought the game was. That's really what we did, though. Yeah, that's pretty much how it was. And then Black Ops 2, we all stayed. But now all I ever see is LMG spammers, SMVU, Remington's. Starbusor and um a lot of other people. <laughs> 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 That's all right, all right, all right Jay, Jay, what do you think? Jay's I think the you know, G- is like four things. There's um quick scoping tryhards that say they're not trying hard and talk about how sniping is so hard to do, which it's not. Um you have it is the not. Thank you. that literally cannot do anything with their life. They're a bunch of randies. You have full parties that just go pub smash everybody, and then you have trolls. You know, See, I think I would in my, in my personal the, opinion, you forgot all the well, try hard to use the Target Finder LMGs and just camp and play solo. I put them those. into randoms. Uh, random. More oh, yeah. noobs, fags. Yeah, fags. Well, you see, in, in my opinion, I believe in the older days, back in Call of Duty, when Call of Duty was at, like, World at War, you know, Call of Duty 4, uh, maybe a little bit of Modern Warfare 2, but once we pretty much got into Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, where people store mo- started getting in more into the uh, pro circuit, you know, started really trying, the game slowly but surely, and basically ultimately to the point where it is now, has turned from a game where people go on there, they go on there to have fun, go on there to play, and go to hang out with their friends, to, you know, really just winning and being the best and being the, you know, the best you can do will be on the top of the leaderboard, where isn't necessarily a, a bad thing. Now, from the dawn of games, it's always been about, you know, having the highest score, being the winner, winning the game, getting to the next level. So it's always been about being the best, but it's almost as if the game now in the community is so fixated on this, this victory that they're forgetting what it's all about, enjoyment and entertainment. Fun. Yeah, fun. yeah, like I don't and see a lot people, of people, <coughs> but yeah, people have fun continue. while winning too. Don't you know well, redemption? I do not <laughs> see what people find <laughs> fun. You have fun by winning games. <laughs> I don't no, that's very uh, true. Uh, but but you can have fun by winning games. Go ahead. I truly, I truly don't believe what people find fun in uh, the entire game, sitting in a corner with an LMG and just spraying everyone that walks by. Oh my god. I don't see what the you, fun in that. I hate that. They, they have fun with it because they get so many kills because it's so damn easy with the target finder pretty much is like a blackbird as an attachment <laughs> or an orbit of, orbital but visa. It's the same damn thing. the perfect but like it's... zoom in and zoom out. Perfect. Exactly. But at the same time, can you really blame those people for just using things that are available in the game? Uh, I mean, yeah, those, I mean, right. those things right. might be cheap. Those things might be, you know, they're homosexual, in the game. but in the end of the day, they're <laughs> in the game, and it's Vunderhaar that ultimately allows them to be Vonderhaar. in the game. Look, Vunderhaar doesn't listen to what people say. <laughs> if he listened to us, he probably by now would have nerfed the Dude, weapon that's why his bald by ass has to do something. <laughs> Look, I'm <laughs> telling you, Activision, if people, if Activision expects people to buy this game, 
They should really listen to the fans. If people, they should have listened by now. Didn't they make a whole video saying like "fuck Last Stand" and they brought back Final oh, yeah. Stand? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me let me explain to everybody that wasn't around for the beginning of Modern Warfare Three. This is a this is a bona fide. You can look this up. This is a true story. When Modern Warfare event? Three was originally re announced, was it was originally announced, right? Infinity Ward came out and they had this conference about how you know Modern Warfare Two had this really stupid stuff in the game and how it, stuff sucked and. Commando was gay, and all this stuff, and literally, in a part of the conference, the main guy in Infinity Ward came out, shouted to the audience, Fuck you, Last Stand, and everybody <laughs> cheered, and everybody laughed, and everybody was clapping their hands. Modern Warfare 3 comes out, it's a death streak. Not only do they make it a death streak, they make it worse, and they give you Last Man's, Dead Man's wait, Hand. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, real yeah, quick, yeah. who's smart that was a fan? decided that? <laughs> wait, real quick, stay. I don't know. Was it, was it a fan that did that? I thought it was an actual person, like, talking. No, that was an actual person. I'm, wait, who, was who, that? Who, who, who went freaking, like, the Call of Duty who went up, who up, guy? Who went up on stage said that. and just, like... Yeah, who said that? No, it was the, it was one of the head guys in Infinity yeah. War. When he yeah, announced a, Modern oh, Warfare 3, it was not a fan. It was one of the head guys. And he came up on the stage, and he said, Fuck you, Last Stand. Yeah, these back. perks are stupid. Absolutely no Commando perk. No ghost. And then they make <laughs> oh it a death streak. It, instead, of, instead of making a Commando perk, they pretty much installed it so everybody has it without even having to put the perk in. You pretty much just Who's got a smart it right guy away. who included Dead Man Ten in the game. Like, oh, I know, I know it'd be good. When they die Dude. six Was times, we'll give them a predator meta, predator meta who, for free. Who, who, who in the world who thought, thought it was a good idea? That was a good idea. Who in the world thought it was a good idea to let somebody go like ten and a hundred and still get a kill streak? <laughs> Support. <laughs> well, you right, see, guys, what they're doing is what they're doing. Is, look, the reason All right, they have go stuff ahead. like this ha in the game is because. It, the game's not new friendly anymore. Like you said, everybody's into the pro circuit. You have to have stuff like target finders. Cause I haven't been in a new lobby in like 30 years. There, I haven't been in a lobby where I. That's because you haven't. Try to win. If you, it's because you didn't take off your DLCs. Go take off your DLCs and watch how you play. Go play with shitty yeah. people. Yeah. Go play with shitty people. It, That's where all the noobs are. I think, no DLCs. You know, in my personal opinion, I believe once a game has reached a certain point in its lifespan where it, you're reaching these these seven sequels eight sequels nine sequels you're pretty much gonna reach a point where everyone on the game is gonna have an idea of what they're doing there really aren't gonna be any new people most people buying call of duty have played something at least similar to call of duty in the past take you madden for an example if you're good at madden and you try playing madden online you are getting your ass handed to you. I know. I tried. I'm horrible at Madden and I couldn't even play because those people on there are so good and Call of Duty's pretty much the same idea. It has no appeal to new players. If you're new to the nah. game, you're pretty much screwed. Call of Duty's based on lag. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I know, nah. dude. They they pretty well, much it doesn't know. matter. They don't even they lie to you now. Now if you have a four I'd rather have a three bar than a four bar because when I have a four bar I lag. When I have a three bar at least I don't lag. Because every time I have a four bar, well, there's a chance that I'm not lagging. But most of the time, when I'm at a four bar, it's pretty much I'm at a one bar. That's how I there, see it in Black Ops too. Real quick, I know lag's a big part of like being mad and all that. But if you, Oxum said that um, you can't be if you're new to the game, you suck even if on your line. But I, the way I see it though, I think anyone can be good at Call of Duty. If you play Call of Duty for a good two hours, I think you can be like really good at it. Like I played League. Well, for, that's like, because. Dude, that is a hundred. That's because true. over the years, I had to. Yeah, continue. Please go ahead. Hard. No, so I had to babysit this one like seven-year-old one day, and yeah, I was playing Call of Duty. He's like, "Can I play with you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." <laughs> I gave him my controller. <laughs> he was literally, I, I like just use this class. I gave him that uh, I'll set. He's literally, "Is that a person?" I'm like, "Yeah, go shoot him." He started spraying him down. He got like a triple kill with no, him, like, no, <laughs> no, you're lying. No way. <laughs> I'm not even that joking. That just it right there. Because look, he was, he was aiming <laughs> at a door, and people, this is this like at the beginning of there was a bunch of there was a bunch of rushers and I'm like why not just start shooting he starts shooting at, uh, uh, at a doorway and I shoot three people run out of there he gets a triple kill oh my, oh my god. god this game just that's great dude that's great <laughs> it's because over the years I believe you know pretty much from modern warfare 3 up so pretty much the past two call of duties uh, mainly they've turned uh, call of duty in from what it used to be which was you know sound whoring you know map control you know smart plays things like that and 
you know, unless you're on this pro level where everyone's doing that, it's really almost, it's, it's noobified. It really is. It's noobified. They've made the game easier and easier and easier. First, they made it so all players show up with a perk, where as soon as you ADS, all the players show up. Now they're making that an attachment with a target finder. Yeah. You know, it, as the game is progressing, they're making it easier and easier. A good example of this is in the World of War games, and you can actually... I actually got this information from uh, Wings, and let me just finish my thought here. I actually got this from a Wings commentary where he gave a good example. In World at War, in all the maps, there was this, there was foliage. And foliage, if you don't know, it's just bushes, trees, you know, leaves and things. So you could hide behind the foliage, and it would be almost like a real war. As Call of Duty has been progressing, they've slowly just taken that away. So they, you can't use any form of skill or any form of stealth or any form of map control because there's no... There's nothing. There's nothing there. It's just a blank field. They've noobified it, and that's even, what they've been doing for years. Even like sharpshooter. Now they have like a mini map on there where you oh know it. You can't that's even be stealth. You can't. Perfect you can't example. be stealth. You can't be stealth anymore. You have to. You it's know where every anymore. single person is, and oh like. My God. Here's I, I so saw bad. a commentator. I'm not sure who it was, but I remember he made such a good point. It was like um. Uh, actually, I don't well, it was like um. Actually, I forgot. Continue. Well, you. Well, <laughs> well, I you remember. Try to remember <laughs> Wait. Didn't Black Ops <laughs> talk about fine, <laughs> taking stuff away from perks and turning it into attachments? <laughs> like, weren't they? Because there's no sleight of hand and said you have a tag. There's no steady aim. Now you have laser sight. Weren't they talking about taking stuff away from perks for that help you right. with your gun skills? Instead, turn making it so that your gun attachments help your gun and your perks help you. Exactly, but then they still leave certain perks. So now Dude, do you I, not I just only have? Hand. Please give me no. hand. Yeah, I, I want that I, back, to be honest. I all right, I remember. I that. don't really. So, cause, I, yeah, you, know, you know what they did? Hand with dual mag. Ooh. But <laughs> but but you know what they did though, Staker, with the sleight of hand not being in the game. That actually makes it not too big a deal. Is it did two things. One, it made the players. Uh, skilled players, and I personally see myself as not a terrible player, but um, it, it made you kind of learn to go without it, which I actually think was kind of cool. It was kind of a new element to the game because in Black Ops One, I used to always it's use sleight like of hand. You know, everybody did. He always used sleight of hand. You know, he had to use sleight of hand. But now that I don't have it, it's like I learned to do without it. And I've gone back to Black Ops One because I love the game. It's probably my favorite Call of Duty, and I actually take sleight of hand off now because you know it's like I don't need it anymore. And but at the same time, what they did, since there's no sleight of hand, is they made every gun just reload faster. You know what I'm saying? Like wait, they just made the wait. guns just yeah, reload. Yeah, you're actually quicker. right. But yeah, you're really low. But wait, wait, sleight of hand is pretty much wait, quick so like, drawn fast. I, I remember what the person said. Uh, I I forgot who the commentator was, but they said how it's true. Like back then, the game really involved skill. You needed skill to play. If you're new to the game, you would suck. That's why, like, right now, they're pretty much doing it like, oh, I see you're hey, new to the game. I see, I see you're new to the game. Here, I'm going to give you as much advantages as possible. Let you be good at it so you'll think it's the best game ever. Get all your friends to play it so we can get m more money out of this. That's what they're pretty much doing, getting people to enjoy the game, like, when they don't even know how to play, just to give just them the money. most advantages that's as possible. That's Infinity Award. That's not Treyarch, though. Well, it's, ball, it's Activision. Know. It's, it's everybody. Yeah, it's Everybody's cool. trying yeah, to make yeah. money off of their games, dude. That's not really that big of a deal. They make deal. it easier oh. so anyone can play it, and anyone's good at it. At the same time, because people are so good at it, even though they give you all these things and make the game so easy, it yeah. still can be difficult for new people. Yeah, but that's kind of why they added League, so the tryouts can go on to League, and all the rest of the I agree. that just got the game, just playing PUBG. I, I completely agree. I actually think the implementation of League play was one of the best things they've done to Call of Duty in a long yeah. time. And I believe if the connection wasn't so bad, hmm. I would. Sp I have a lot of fun with League. I think League is really cool. I Don't think it can almost servers? make you feel... No, nope. that's a that's a myth. That's a rumor. That's not true. There's still well, host migration. There's no still host host. migration. There's no host There's migration. There's a bunch though. of host migration. There's there's host there's migration. It's just all right. Let's get to the uh, way less common in League Xbox because people One leave in League. versus PS4 now. Exactly. Switch it to that. It it's oh. not as common because people don't leave. PS4 has the best marketing example now. They're switching to pay to play. Now your account you only have to pay for one account on your PS4, and every other account that's on your PS4 can play. You don't have that's to that's smart. Seriously? That's smart. Because number one, who would imagine if you want to make like two accounts for Black Ops Two, one to try and one to troll or whatever you want to do. Imagine if you want to do that, you would have to literally pay extra money to make two accounts that could play online. That's actually smart, where you could actually play multiple accounts without having to pay. Because I think it's pretty stupid having to pay to all accounts to just play online. 
I want to like, know what they're going to do with that like, money, Honestly, though. I've been to my friend's house. He tells me how, like, his older brother uh, has an account that he can play online, but he doesn't, and his parents don't let him buy online, and he can't play online, but only his brother can, which is pretty stupid. You should, everyone should be able to do it with one pay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they keep adding these stupid pay-to-pay -pay stuff and, like, bunch of online five bucks a month That's not personally really a lot, all I think all I think is you should just pay for the console and then after that you should be able to buy games you don't have to pay for anything more just the games yeah yeah that's well true. in the end of the day games are gonna be I wonder how much games are, are rumored to be. Uh, they're definitely good. With, I can guarantee you, without a doubt, they're going to be more expensive. They're not going to be sixty dollars. Oh, I think eighty, right, not hundred. Hundred. I can almost guarantee you. I can guarantee, I can guarantee, you, guarantee, you, I can guarantee you guys. Right it's now, more the big than, rumor is a hundred. Well, what I say is seventy-one dollars. I already know this. I, I, I gotta say this. I gotta say this. It's more than sixty. It's it's more than sixty, and for sure a hundred or less. I know this for sure. I know this. I know it's a hundred less or sixty. I know for sure. It's probably around eighty or seventy. I think 75? it's. I look it up for sure. It's sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yep. That's not bad. I mean, if yep. it's if it's confirmed, then that's really not that bad. I wouldn't mind spending an extra Six. five dollars, but not forty dollars. Yo, talk yeah, about the season pass. How oh, they don't even get the camel. That's, that's hilarious. I find that hilarious. I'm not a season pass person. All right, that was hilarious. the dumbest feature ever. Any <laughs> other game, so I can bet funny. you, I can bet you, any other game would have gave you the, those camels for free. Black Ops 2. Oh, we're giving you guys all these new camels. We're trying to give no, you guys no. the Infinity best features game. possible. Away for free. Dude, they made so much money off just the camels. That makes me so mad, though. That's the thing. All of this is just money. But it, it, <laughs> camels you know, don't help you in, in any way. All it is is just a camel. It doesn't help you with being just, faster, just, being better at the game. It just gives you a cool camel. I don't see why that in the day. I the guess day. it's a cool feature, but you know. And I, I, I they say, personally don't believe micro didn't they say, is is what 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 did they say? All right, didn't they say season they pass? You get all DLC. You get all DLC with the season pass. Anything they give to the BS. game extras, you get. But camels yes. are not you DLC. Should... No one says camel DLC. Well, they were personal personalization packs. They weren't called yeah, DLC. They're, they're, they're micro. They're micro DLC. DLC. Micro, yeah. Yeah. micro but, DLC. But it's kind of considered extra down downloadable content, no? Yeah, yep. it it is well, downloadable content. Yeah, like, so you, it, it should be well, considered clearly. But know. in the end of the day, hey, earlier Steak, I think he said that um, what are they gonna do with the money that PS4 is getting from their new PlayStation Network, like subscription? I think they're gonna put it to their, their indie games. Yeah, personally. like yeah. a lot of the console wars on YouTube, they're always talking about like, oh, Xbox puts that money back into their multiplayer servers and stuff. They uh, now, do now. Now that argument's invalid because now PS4 is gonna be putting that money back too. Well, yeah, think, but we're not gonna start. A console. We're not getting here. the deal. Yeah, let's let's yeah, not yeah, start yeah. a console for. Let's save that for some another one. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's interesting. We've all pretty much. I think every all of us here have actually stayed on. You know, PlayStation. And Jeremy is actually the one person here that uh, did originally play on the Xbox. So I, I got one small question. I'm not trying to start a console war. I, I just want to get one small both. question across. Oh really? Okay. Well, this will go for both of you guys then. There's this big, there's this big rumor, a myth. Uh, a lot of people talk about it, and it's pretty interesting. And I would like to, uh, you know, go uh, explore upon okay. it. And that, do you guys think, in your personal opinion, do you believe the COD community on Xbox 360 is better, like skill based, than the PlayStation 3 community? Personally, nope. I've played on both, uh, just nope. at friends' houses and things, and I don't think it's any different. No, you don't think it's any different. What about you, Jay? Do you think? Um, okay, so, like, you know, uh, MLG I, well, Pro then. Circuits on Xbox, you don't play with those guys, so you don't, you don't run into random lobbies at all with those guys most of the time. I, think, I didn't play yeah. when you could play League Play, I believe. so I don't know if, like, I've never run into anybody that smashed me on Xbox or PS3. I, like, I've never no, run into somebody where I felt the like same a shit. Yeah, it's same. same. Yeah, you know, I've always thought that, but maybe, well, you guys heard it here on this podcast right here. Stop the rumor that there's not... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Our, our, uh, that, our opinions that aren't. That's where all the clans are at, like Optic and Phase. That's where the big clans are at. Doesn't mean they're right, right. Like, no, where were said, they at? Kurt, where Jay were said, they at in the beginning? They were at PS3. Yeah. All the MLG teams were on PS3. Were they? they that's true, up. actually. Yep. In, in, Black Ops, in Black Ops Pro PS3. Circuit, <laughs> Black Ops 1 Pro Circuit, MLG Columbus was on PlayStation 3. You can look it up MLG right now on YouTube. MLG Dallas MLG Dallas was not on PS3. Well, maybe for Black Ops 1. It was, I it was. Black that, Ops but MLG 1, Columbus. I remember. 
It was just literally the FAMAS with red dot and a PlayStation controller. That's yep, all I remember. That's how it was. It was all FAMAS red dots. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That's what everybody the other was guns, doing in domination. I forgot what they were, though. I'm pretty sure you guys, I got a question. Odd. Real quick, let me get another question across between the Xbox and PlayStation. I hate when people talk about, like, make excuses like, Oh my god, the PlayStation controller, like, hurts your hands, it's so much smaller. I don't know, it doesn't bother me, I don't know about you guys, but... I don't um, have so I think that's Honestly, true. this is what I personally think. If the controller bothers you, buy one of those fake controllers that are bigger. They make no, those no, controllers No, 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 I'll tell you about purposely. those, I'll tell you about those in a minute. Alright, go. Okay. Alright, so basically, <laughs> well. they give off a huge <laughs> lag that people don't know. They give off a 5 millisecond lag, which affects your game dramatically because the game is literally kills her in second. So Wait, what, what controllers are you talking about here? The uh, Xbox 360 controllers or the PlayStation controllers? Basically, you're taking your PS3 controller and you're trying to make it with the Xbox controller. There's some certain controllers that are like I, that, I like that but they have so much like lag. Honestly, I have pretty big hands and I don't mind. It's actually pretty fine for me. I mean, yeah, just, like just, just, make it, about just, it. just make it work. I mean, the only reason people say that is because they're so used to the Xbox controllers. Yeah, maybe we're so saying big. it because we're you know, on PlayStation all day. We're, that's yeah, why. We're, we're all that's playing PlayStation and we're used to it. Once they, if they start playing PS4, after uh, like a week, they'll probably be used to it and they won't even mind it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I don't think I've ever hold like, an I, Xbox. I, I'm sitting here raising my hand. You guys can. You guys can. But, but the one one thing I want from Xbox that should be on PS3 is the freaking party mode. The party chat. Oh yeah. yeah. I would oh my love god. That. They oh, do not have that oh on the newest god. PS4. They like, do not have that on the newest PS4. By the way. Oh. Are, are you serious? Yep. That's all uh, I want. For the for the past few. Weeks, Wait, I thought they did. Uh, I no, got Fallout 3. I've been I've been playing and Fallout 3. Xbox it would make my day being able to talk to my friends while I play this game. Yeah. I'll tell you guys something after this. All right. So basically, Xbox is working with Skype, so they can even do more more people than that. Like, have, oh. at least have a, a lot more people than that. And like, Skype has hey. perfect audio and everything. That's what they're trying to implement. Imagine basically, Microsoft bought Skype off. Imagine um forwarding yep. your cell phone calls. Yeah, that's to your true. Xbox. That's true. So your mom calls you. You just get it straight into your party mo your party chat. Sends you into like a private chat. Yeah, you, you just say Xbox Skype, Xbox Mom. Yeah. <laughs> That's huh, awesome. Basically. That's interesting. That's While you're well, well, let's get some more right. things. I got another question. Whoa, 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 I got another what's question. going on? What game do you think on, is going to be up? the best out of all the choices that they have, basically? I'm going to list out the games, but you... Uh, both the consoles. Minecraft, the GTAs, the uh, new COD. Oh, are you talking, talking about the games one. that are about to come out? There's a lot of really good games coming out. All the new ones. Next gen. All the new ones. Which oh, one next gen games? Uh, psh, yep. Gee, I, I don't know. Dogs, GTA, Personally, Battlefield, and COD. Okay, Halo. okay, well, I'll give you my personal answer to that question. And this is going to sound a little stupid to a lot of you, and I'm sure, sure somebody can relate to me. If you do, please leave a answer. comment. <laughs> because I don't want to feel alone on this. But in my personal opinion, pretty much what I got out of that question is what am I most excited about? And personally, yep. I'm most excited about Infamous Second Son. I'm a huge Infamous guy. I played Infamous 1, I played Infamous yeah. 2, I got Infamous 2 like the moment it came out. I'm a huge, huge All Infamous the guy. Next. So for me personally, Infamous Second Son, I'm going to be on that the moment it comes out. Pretty much, that's All right, pretty much here's first mine. game right there. Boom. This is the game that everybody goes on after they're done playing the little games. And, and they play this game like just solely just because their friends play it. The new Call of Duty. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying... <laughs> Everyone's going to buy it either way, no matter how bad it is. Yeah, Everyone's going to be buying it. That's what I'm saying. They need to work really hard on that shit. I don't care about the other they games. Do. They do. They can be okay. Because I know a lot of people who have GTA 4. Like, oh, GTA 4 is way better than COD. No, it isn't. You don't play it more with your, with your friends than COD. COD. That could be debatable, but whatever. Alright, yeah. I'm most excited yeah, that's for true. Battlefield oh. 4 and Destiny. Destiny. That's, what I'm that's true, Destiny does look rather cool. But, you know, Destiny Destiny is going to be... Is, is that going to be a PlayStation exclusive, or is that going to also be on the sure. Xbox One? Or sure I have no idea. Exclusive. Uncharted looks know. good on the PlayStation exclusives. Oh, what is it called? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, I, I heard rumors. Is Fallout 4 coming out for the uh, uh, consoles? I don't know. Is that oh, a no. real? Is it actually coming out, or is that just the like a rumor? Only rumor I do not play Fallout. Fallout Four. Is that one of the guys Twitter released or said at like a meeting or something that you guys like being in the Mojave, right? Well, we're moving a little bit to the west, so I think it's supposed to be in like the San Francisco area or, or up north or something. Huh? Awesome. That'd be interesting. You know, it'd be really cool. And uh, you know, this is just kind of a little off topic, but you know, what would be really cool would be a Fallout Four in London. You know, bring it out of America. You know, go to go to go to Europe. Bring Dude, it in America's London. Have it in France. That, that would be, 
Why? Why? <laughs> but isn't isn't like a nuclear war between America and Canada or something like that? No, yeah, exactly. They between they America and China. It's already. Over. <clears throat> it was like it was like the their coin term was like the most devastating war that took twenty seconds. Wait, was it in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think we're getting a little too. What, wait, what did we're, we're, we're getting a little too? In the, uh, we're getting into in depth with it. Let's kind of back out. Or right, let's talk about the main thing: the community. That's what our yeah, podcast that, like is we were saying about. before. Are you, like, right. We 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 hit the gaming like side of our conversation. First, before we so. do that, we should do like why we did the podcast in the first place. Yeah, well, I mean, we pretty much an audio podcast, so we're pretty much gonna do it. There's no video. I'm gonna put some random pictures in the background. You know, I don't even know what. <laughs> basically, I'm gonna put pictures about what relates to the conversation, and this is just we basically for everyone to hear. You know, if you're gaming, whatever you're doing, just put the put it in your earbuds and listen to us, because I'm pretty sure. We're pretty interesting. You know, me, for those so. of you who still got school, you got school, you got those days in class, there's nothing going on, you know, maybe just pop some headphones in and listen to us while, oh, you know, that's going school. on, because, you know, you know, those last couple days of school, those last couple days of school, man, pain. those are horrible. Especially the finals, dude, so horrible. Boring. Yeah, who's dumbass <laughs> oh, thought yeah, it'd be a good finish idea your to final. Like, cram everything at the end? Who's dumbass this morning? I know, dude, no and I don't know if you guys, in my school, in my school, and yes, I am still in school, you have to, when you take a final, no matter what, when you when you taking that final, you have to be given a two hour session. So you are taking a final for literally for two hours, sometimes more. No matter what, uh, so you uh, might finish these finals in like thirty minutes. You still stay in an empty classroom. You that's, cannot. That's how we're. Oh, yeah, that's I how ours are. Too. I have to do that too. But except ours yeah. is an hour and a half. Just wait until college, that's bro. Horrible, dude. You could leave. Oh, you can leave yeah. in yours. Oh no, we cannot leave. We have Lucky. to stay. Yeah. We're pretty much in jail. That's how it feels like. Jail. It's pretty bad, dude. If you don't bring your phone, it's pretty yeah. horrible. And they don't even let us use our phone, dude. Our school is strict as ever. I know. Our teacher said, if anyone's phones go off, any a single phone goes off, everyone's restarting the test. <laughs> well, that, well, that's, that's so almost bad. at the same time. That's almost understandable, though. You have to almost understand that because the phones today, cell phones are so. I mean, you could like one yeah. text, and you could have the whole test on that text. People take pictures of tests and just send them. I mean, mm -hmm. you never know, so you gotta be careful. All right, guys, let's things. finish this. I kind of want to talk about YouTube. I got a question for everyone here. Who is your favorite YouTuber, right. commentator-wise? Let's talk about commentators. Com okay, commentary-wise. Okay, me personally, I I'm a big, huge only use me blade fan because I really like that he goes in depth with with what he's talking about. You know, I don't really like. I'm not a huge fan of commentators that talk about their gameplay. And I know that sounds weird. Game gameplay is a big. Other part than of critical, is there any commentators talk about the gameplay anymore? Critical. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of commentators <laughs> that talk about their gameplay. Every commentator talks about their gameplay every everyone, but it just yeah, it just yeah, feels like when I'm watching the gameplay, it's like I already know you know what's going yeah. on. And only use me yeah, I know about the commentary. In depth. Uh, yeah, excuse right, my cat. The things he's talking about. Yeah, it's a lot more about the commentary. I know use only use me blade. He's a really interesting uh, commentator. He talks about like he, he he he's like a guy who doesn't stop talking. You love to hear him. Like him and Keemstar and Bad Kid Cast. I mean, I can watch every episode. They're, they they talk about the most randomest things ever, and it's so yeah, exactly. interesting. Exactly. There's a lot of commentators out there that are like that. That they can just keep talking and talking. Yeah. And that's pretty much ultimately what you want out of a commentator. You want somebody that's going to be able to say something interesting and just you know keep talking about it for a long period of time. What about you, Ed? Who, who are you fond of in the YouTube community? What's who, who you favor? Do you, do you even watch commentaries? Do you watch things like that? Um, sometimes Ed? I I really don't have a favorite. I I just sort of go on YouTube for whatever I see. I see. I just watch random things. Like I I usually like search one one thing after searching one thing. I usually like go for. I look at the recommended. And I just like go from one thing to another. I could start off watching. Oh, you're you're well. a searcher kind of guy. You're a rec you're a recommended. Yeah, I just okay. see, okay. see okay. what I find the best. No, like, like if I find something good, I, I I like subscribe to them and watch more of their videos. But usually I like yeah. start off with the. Video. I could literally start off watching a Black Ops 2 commentary and end up watching how to make ice cream. But uh, I just go. <laughs> from, I literally just keep. <laughs> How do you do that? Because <laughs> I just keep going with the recommendations. What the hell? Damn, man. You know, one of my favorite commentators, I'll be honest that. with you guys, is Thunder. Legend of Thunder. Most of you guys know. Uh, I the actually... best part about Thunder is he gives his own opinion. He does not give a shit about what people think about him, dude. Yes, he I has like so many that haters, but he loves it. I truly I love like him for that, that about him. I, I like, love him. I, I love the fact how he doesn't even care. He says whatever comes to his mind. He literally doesn't even care what his uh, people think. He probably doesn't even care how much dislikes or likes he gets. He just he just says his opinion the about is, what he thinks. 
best part of Thunder. The thing Black is, Warrior. is he actually doesn't. He doesn't get a lot of hate. He doesn't get a lot, a lot of dislikes. He doesn't really get that much. I mean, he does, but every YouTuber does, not it? Oh my God! How another tornado can warning. Be at times. Yeah, th there's a huge tornado warning going on uh, where they yeah. are right now. It's, it's quite obnoxious. I I right. But anyway, five but like I was alerts. saying. A flood right, warning. Basically, my favorite would be Woody Gamer Tag. You like Woody's Gamer Tag? Uh, you're favorite really? YouTuber? He literally, because he does not disappoint in two ways. All right, so there's a bunch of channels that disappoint you when they don't upload. Woody does that sometimes, but he makes up for it by having five-hour PKs. But I know he's consistent. I guess like. he's consistent. But his yeah. videos, to me, I just I don't know. I, I hate to like hate them. on YouTubers. But I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too big of a fan of Woody. He doesn't really. He just. He doesn't well, even. Can't. Look at all of his videos. He doesn't talk no, about like Call of Duty like Woody. anymore. I, I mainly. I well, watch I, I, I live and die by this saying. I live and die by this saying. You can't like everything. You can't like. You can't you're like right. everybody. So it, there's Personally, gonna be people out there that you're not too fond of. It doesn't make you a hater. It doesn't mean that you're a horrible person. It just means you know you're not too fond of those people. Like. There's a lot of haters on YouTube. What I think is, I, I don't think anybody deserves this. Let's do it. They're false. They're false. Their their videos like a false title. They're like sh like trying yeah. to get you a virus. Like I see people putting hours of work into a video, and they still get a lot of dislike. Just ha haters. Like I, I saw somebody upload a video. Um, it was like, <coughs> Staker. Wh they literally uploaded a video. <laughs> <Ha>! Seven. <laughs> 17 seconds, like 17 seconds after they uploaded, it already had like 20 dislikes. And the video is like 6 actually, minutes Actually, I'm going to go into that in a minute after you're done talking. I'll tell you about that. No, but people just dislike without even watching the video just because of the person. And the other They're people, just haters, dude. Yeah, I don't right, get why. Well haters. Here's what I'm going to get into. Not a lot of people know this, but the really, 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 really core subscribers, the biggest fan base you have, are your favorite first dislikers of your video. Those are your... Biggest fanboys. I'll admit this because it's true. It is true. The big fanboy fanboy have are the ones who dislike your video in one minute into it and only have one view and three likes. <laughs> they, Those they, are your biggest honestly, fans. Honestly, they give you views. There you go, a view. They pretty much and haters yeah. get you famous, you like Keemstar this, said. But a like and a dislike are the same thing. It's true. It's yeah. true. They're both promoting. It's a your rating. Channel. Think of it like this. Um, say that you've got a big thing right now that a lot of people are doing is they're linking their YouTubes with their Twitter page. So once you've got your YouTube link with their Twitter page, you know, everything you do on YouTube that you want, and this is what you want, you can set it up, Twitter. will happen on Twitter. So let me just give you an example. Let me say I like Zarbasaur's video, right? Uh, awesome like Zarbasaur's video. That's going to show up on my Twitter feed. That, that idea is ultimately like spreading so all my twitter friends all my twitter followers you know which are just friends and family and stuff are going to see that and you know maybe if only one or two of them go check out zarb's video okay but it's a very small amount of promotion but still it, it makes a difference but now, now imagine if i dislike it, one of his videos now let me finish here anything. it's the same idea it's still going to show up on twitter it's still oh, going to show the feed i thought it didn't I, at all i'm almost and I'm it almost tweets positive. at you too, doesn't it? Like, if you like my video, I'm almost it positive. And, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost, because I never dislike videos, but I'm almost positive that when you, when you dislike a video or you comment a video, even if it's a hate comment, that's going to show up in your feed, and people can look at it, and people can oh, go on it. Oh, not if you set it up in the even, way even that if, I did. Even if it does you go on Twitter, it. the thing about that is, I mean, imagine if you have, like, even like 30 followers, not, not much followers. Imagine it goes on Twitter, it, even if like two, three people look at it, what if one of them likes it, and they're also on Twitter, then it's, then it's gonna keep spreading, and it, a lot more people can eventually see it, just from that one twi like, because of Twitter. I mean, There's imagine, a certain like, way. even those people that have like, maybe like thousands of Twitter followers, and they like a video on YouTube, then that could really give you a, lo a lot more support. It just it it could really vary. It's there's a certain, certain way like that you a, can do you YouTube. You're like basically you click on my channel, you go to your settings, you can put it towards only um, your activity is only when you upload the video. Basically, when you upload your video, right, um, that's the only thing that shows up in your feed. No likes, no dislikes, none of that stuff shows up in your feed. When you dislike a video, it'll never show up in your feed. If you like a video, it will show up on your feed, but dislikes. Yeah, never that's show what up I thought video. it was. Yeah, it is That's true actually that what way. I thought it was. But I set it up where the only one who um, sees my things are basically me uploading the video and all they can see in their feed in their feed. Why? Because if I actually had to like and like things and what I favorited, your thing would be spammed by Staker Chuck watching all these videos because I watch a ton of people.
That's why I draw off. That's true, it's true, true. A lot of people don't do it, but at the same time, a lot of people do. So, at the same time, when you're disliking a video, just keep in mind, if you've got those things linked, you're giving them exposure. Ex well, exposure. Exposure. If, if you're exposure. Me, he said exposure. <laughs> if you're legitimately <laughs> right, me, I, I, and if I were to ever right there. turn on feed, dude, you can't feed, feed like, you can't, like, you can't, like, my subscription. <clears throat> Like this, 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 and there's a bunch of you going through yeah, pages true, and pages of me liking something. That's why a lot of YouTubers works. just use second channels to, you know, like things and favorite things because it, it, it doesn't show up in the feed. You have a second channel, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, all stuff like that. But you can also just turn it off too, which which is what a lot of people do. YouTubers that inspired you to it's make YouTube videos. Let's begin. Oh. Wait, so. YouTubers like, that inspired? Yeah, oh, like, how do you guys feel about like that? There's many YouTubers doing a bunch of different things. How do you feel about all those people that uh, automatically you do something similar to somebody else, automatically think you're copying them because they're doing it also? Because you are, dude. Dude, jeez, don't you know anything? <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. like Ninja everybody's Fuse. copying Blame Truth. I'm just, I mean, yeah. I mean, like Ninja Diffusing. Imagine you like Ninja Diffuse. Well, a lot of people could be like, oh. Like Speedy, they couldn't say Speedy created it because Speedy Ninja Diffuse is more than most YouTubers. He just like, brought it I to YouTube. That's kind of what it was. Yeah, he, he didn't create it. He just he didn't create it. He just did it. That's how a lot of people do things. And they that's just what do pisses things. me off the most. Because when I do it in a lobby, I remember I used to do Ninja Diffusing before he even posted a video about it. But when I do it in lobbies, all I ever hear nowadays is Speedy K Warrior Speedy Fanboy. That pisses me off the most. Right, but just because he's a popular YouTuber. And he did it in a video. Doesn't mean you're considered a fanboy. You just do you it. Gotta, you've you done gotta it think of it like this, though. You gotta think of it like this. Those are just haters, fanboys, you know, all those people yeah. on YouTube, the scum of the earth, basically, scum of the YouTube community, that are pretty much just finding any reason they can to dislike your video, to hate on your video, to, you know, put on negative promotion and just just hate on your video yeah. for no reason at all. And they're always, no matter what you do. There's, they're always gonna find ways to do that, no matter what you do. Even if you do so much as edit in a troll face when you troll somebody, they're still gonna do it because that's just who they are. And that's what they like to do. They like to negative. They like to hate. And when you remove their comment, they, they get that little enjoyment out of that. That's funny. That means that they trolled you, you know. And yeah. it's just what they're gonna do, and they're never gonna stop doing that. So you just can't let it affect you. But it can be difficult sometimes, you know, because it does get annoying. Yeah, I just meant in general, though, it. to be honest. I, I just meant in general, if you just do it in a lobby, not if you actually recorded it. Right, same right. Same thing goes. Well, yeah, same it's the same goes. idea. <laughs> it's funny because I've, yeah, exactly. I've actually did something of my own in the lobby, and somebody called me a fanboy of some YouTuber that I didn't even know. I didn't even know that this YouTuber, <laughs> but I said I, I copied him. And I got so confused for a second, and like, I, I thought he was just <laughs> trolling me and, like, made a fake name. But then I searched him up, it was an actual YouTuber, and I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. It's not even much that we could that say. That should show you how big their fan bases do. are. Yeah. Alright, so I yeah, have to go you back to something. Been a fanboy. I watched Penguin Zo before, like, I Penguin knew... Penguin Z-Zero? Yeah, Penguin Z-Zero. And I didn't know he was critical. I always hear you guys talk about, like, hey, here's this critical guy. I love critical, critical. And, and I was like, who is it? I don't even remember how I you guys told me he was critical, but all I watched Penguin Z Zero, and that was just amazing for me to figure out. He was smaller when I when I watched him, <laughs> probably like not even forty thousand subs, he, and that's a lot, but not in the scheme really? of big YouTubers. He <laughs> kicked off after Ray William Johnson featured him in one of his videos with the Quap. That was nuts. Who did? Who did? Yeah. yeah. Who did? Ray William Johnson featured who did, who did? Uh, Critical, in one of his. Critical Squad video. It got almost six million hits. I think it's already at six million hits just because of Ray. And I think that like doubled his sub count, dude. It's crazy. And that's when he kind of like blasted off, you know. And now I think he's almost at 700k now, which is really impressive for Critical, knowing he doesn't even he doesn't even like reach his fans or even do anything with the community. It's just him. All right, I got a next, I got a good question. What would you guys do with YouTube money, like PewDiePie YouTube money? Spend it by car. <laughs> Put it in that's that's really I'm like like that's a difficult thing to say, and it can be even controversial at some points. But yeah. honestly, I I really don't know. A lot of YouTubers out there, make, you know, they make their money on YouTube. They, they get paid, and you know, all that controversy, all that that bull crap people hate on. But regardless, it's a job. You know, they're living off of YouTube. So a lot of that money goes to expenses for you know you know obviously owning a house, you know, no, feeding I'm our family. All I'm talking about millions. Well, I'll give you this. Give you this. This is the best That's answer I can probably dude. That's give you. From. 
from that's my crazy. opinion, right. from my personal the way I see it, is when YouTube originally started paying people, the idea of you getting paid was so that you could have more money to be able to upload more content, so that you would videos. make more videos because you're giving yep. Yep. more promotion to their website. That was the whole purpose of it when it originally started. So if I was PewDiePie level or Machinima level or Smosh level or whatever it may be, and I made millions on YouTube, then I would be doing that. Be doing that. I would be making more YouTube videos, making my content as good as I possibly could, and just uploading as much as I could. You know, doing let's plays, yeah. doing all that kind of stuff. I, I think because you upload three times a day. I, I completely so agree. I don't think job. Money Whore should even be existing. Money Whore shouldn't even be a thing. He makes videos because he loves to do it. He makes videos for subscribers because they're waiting for who him. Who does, who does, and that's his does. job. If he makes money, that's anyone. just... Well, just anyone. Just anyone in general. Yeah. You're anyone in general. this YouTube. Why would you not do the most to get the most money out of your YouTube? All your viewers, the, yeah. the ones that pay you, is your viewer, like, sending exactly. you 10 cents or $2, whatever, for every view? Whatever exactly. It is. It's, it's Google. Like, it's yeah. not All right, your would it money. change? Yo, all right, I got a good question. Would it change you if there was no money in YouTube? It would probably I would still do YouTube, YouTube videos. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I would still do it for the fun of it. I mean, I think it's just cool just to get a few likes. But making a video and just getting a few likes just makes me feel like that I actually got a few likes. I don't even know. It feels but better. But to be honest, I think YouTube with no money, that would change the community by... A lot. First of all, there would be no term money whore or view whore or whatever. And there and would be less, uh, uh, a lot of the big up to... Yeah, less be, YouTubers. I think like 25% or 33% would be gone. And honestly, less, a lot of people and, do it for money. And people would... Wings would be gone. I know that for a fact. No, no people, would, uh, people would start uploading less. And then some might just even like uh, not put as much effort. See you, Wing. Actually, actually, we're going to be gone, because in a lot of his videos, he talks about how he started I off. know for a fact PewDiePie He's... is going to be gone, because that's what he said in his one video. Not well, in no, did day. he really? He said, he, said he, he, he solely, like, wouldn't do this at all unless he had the fame. Like, even one of his videos, fame he or the money. totally on YouTube. Not, not a lot of people, oh, the, the money, wow. obviously. Dude. If Famous he quit now, he really could still keep, like, he would still get so many yeah, videos. Yeah, I know, I know, I Because he, he has so many videos out. Imagine if somebody like PewDiePie went out, like, four-hour live stream, he's playing the game at the end, alright, he loads up like, loads up like a Russian roulette type thing, if this hits, if this, if the bullet hits, it shoots, my YouTube channel's deleted, it's gone. Imagine, huh. like, how you were uh, going dude, could you out imagine like if his that. YouTube channel was deleted? Yeah, like, imagine I got another thing after like we're that. done with this topic. Well, I mean, this is what I'm going to say really quickly to, to wrap up this kind of, you know, what if there was no YouTube money? What if there was no, you know, if everybody stopped making money, who would be there? Who would leave? In the end of the day, guys, every single YouTuber out there, out there no matter who they are, no matter who they are, they no matter started. how big they are, they started just making videos and they did not get paid a dime they made videos for the pure entertainment of making, making videos yes and we all love the numbers those, may yeah. have like, changed wait. them in the future the money may have changed their attitude towards it but in the beginning of youtube they made it for entertainment so Look do i that. believe youtubers would stay on even if there wasn't money yeah i believe they do because honestly when they originally started it was for entertainment, and if you're like getting paid, it's still, still something you love to do. Nowadays, there might be a lot of YouTubers gone, because nowadays with the whole YouTube money, you have kids coming out of the... iPod mail. You have kids <laughs> running out of the bushes to make YouTube money. They're not doing it, they're doing it for the easy, for the quote-unquote easy job. Like, I've actually YouTube seen, I, I seen some people call, like, those old-time YouTubers money whores, and, like, what I thought right away was, they're not, I wouldn't even count them as money whores, because, number one, they started it for the fun of it. N there was no money back then for YouTube, and they just started it just for the fun of it, and uh, they not later on, they just started getting paid. No, I know, not all of them, but I'll, I'm talking about the one, like, I saw, I'm, Pretty sure it was uh, actually I don't know, Twitter. It, 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 uh, he started like I think like five years ago, and uh, he's, he got like uh, some comments saying you're a money whore for making a bunch of videos. And the thing is, I mean, if they started for the fun of it, it's not like they were even expecting to get paid. They just expected to do it for the fun of it. Later on, I mean, they do get money and they do a lot more videos because this is pretty much their job. That's why they act actually do make more things for money so they could do more videos mm -hmm. so yeah, really I really don't think money I really money. don't think there's a single youtuber out there that originally started their channel with the thoughts of I'm gonna make this my job even Minnesota Burns who's probably got more yeah, scams right than scamming that. on the That's world so he's, got, he's got every scam known to man <laughs> on his channel <laughs> I even think at one point he did it just for the fun of it and it was just for a video it's just for an entertainment you know the entertain people maybe I share it with the friend. first then wait what 
<laughs> but everyone plays Call of Duty because we love the game. All the commentators, we wouldn't be here if we weren't playing Call of Duty. And how did we get started with Call of Duty? Because we love the game. You know, everyone, every YouTuber, every commentator, they didn't start for money. They all love the game. Because I know I love the game. They don't start They don't start YouTube right after they play the game. They wait at least two years after. At least I think. That's what I did. But solely everyone right. loved the game. I got, I got the next topic. Next topic is, why when you create a new account, you're already subscribed to Syndicate, Smosh, and a bunch of big YouTubers? For some odd reason, they already picked 10 people you are subscribed to. Wait, not why? for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> no, I think oh, I oh, 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 oh. I yeah. created There's a new account, and I'm already... There's recommendations. No, 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 There's no, recommendations. Listen up. Listen up. No, 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 no. If you create a new account right now, and you press yes, yes, verify everything, already subscribed to Syndicate and a bunch of people like that, and on top oh. of that, when you click on someone's channel in... Um, Basically, the right hand side, you know, how the sub boxes used to be there. Uh -huh. Now there's Syndicate, PewDiePie, and all of them. Why is that? No, I think those are recommendations or what channels I that think, are for you. What I actually think YouTube should do is they should give why do chances. They, do they should give chances to smaller YouTubers. No, they, that's a bad like, idea. Why don't, I'll tell you why that's a bad idea because their whole thing's about ad revenue, and if they don't have ads in their first top 50 searches, they're, they're going to be That is true. That is true. That's for Google, though. Yeah. No, they don't care so about it. It's, not even, it's yeah. not even like um, dreams. It's called a business. The way I see YouTube now, all the smaller people are just like, there's nothing to get them up there. They have to actually really work their asses off or get in contact either with are, other YouTubers. Either all and, they do is work or, or they know somebody bigger that's going to help them get there. Yeah, and then bigger YouTubers can sit on their asses because they get so many subs daily, you know. Because they're on the front page. Any They're everywhere. Upcoming YouTuber network. How about your, yourself in the first month you start? Like, YouTube. like just think about Eugene Yackel. He met Speedy in a lobby. Look where he is now. That's you all. Know that was his most popular video, right? Speedy's most popular video was with when Eugene Yackel met a girl or whatever. That was his most popular video. Is there really how many views does it have? See, I think he has two million. Do you see how lucky he is? All he, he did, is way, way more than that. All he ever did was just find him in a lobby, and now he has what, 200, 300 thousand subscribers? Yeah, but, but regardless, even though he did, yeah, yeah, he got really lucky, and you could even say that he might have even gotten carried. But he, yeah, he got really lucky with finding <laughs> yep, Speedy it is. in a Two lobby. Yep, million views, Eugene Yackel. Yeah, but in the crazy. end of the day, he's still making videos, and he's still working his butt off to get content. Uh, I, I don't think he even has a capture but, card wait, yet, wait, stuff but, out there. Can you guys, how many YouTubers can you guys name that started in 2013 and are now over like 500,000 subs? Zero. Zero. You can't Zero. think of any. None of them. It's not, not even, even 2012 even. That's it's, it's maybe not even almost impossible. His, um, wait, what? No. That's not fair. That, that doesn't count. That's not fair. Keemstar, was, was, Keemstar. Keemstar started like in 2009, didn't he? He's been. He started 2009 as his first video, and it wasn't even I still his. Ke I still think Keemstar deserves way more than he has. Well, that's now, just dude. because he his channels have been taken down so many times. He's Keemstar's so at where he is after like 50 different channels. Like he's been he up so many different protein, channels. Dude. He owns a protein. He's freaking fat. Exactly. And he, so many people know him. Like all the big commentators know him. You know, White Boy knows him. Everyone 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 knows yeah, that's a good point. We have been going on for a while here. We're going to try to keep yeah. these within the ranges of kind of like 45 minutes to an hour. So we're pretty much all done. Minutes. We pretty much said what we wanted to say. And we really want to so. hear from you guys. You know, the, leave a comment below. Say something. Maybe, in, you know, yeah, so you made it all the way to the end. You made it all the way to the end. Yeah, right leave back, a like or something. Right back, I don't know, but right back, we, love you. we really want to see some feedback. We really want to try to make something. We this really cast. do. Make sure Maybe you guys try like to do favorite, one a week. And check out Sega Shock's channel and check out um yep. <laughs> yeah. Check, check out, out everyone's channel. channel. Everyone. Raptor Cod Gamers, me, Zarbasol Reg Z, Staker Shock, Staker Shock. And I hope and you guys all enjoyed. Big thanks to everyone, especially our first ever guest. The other J. Exactly, our big guy. You, you guys should say in the comments that you want me to return because I love you all. No, we don't want you to. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, did you cut it right there? <laughs> and P.S. J is our first guest, and we don't really know how to hit it. I uh, think we should. I think we should end guests. it with the Skip word. Away, yeah. Giveaway. We'll have to see. No, we're not taking it. Give away. Bird, we'll bird, give away bird, the other J. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. But yeah, give us some feedback. It was great having you on here. It was great, you know, being here. It was here, good. It was fun. It's fun yeah. to do. Remember, we're All gonna right, try to well. do this maybe once a week, maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll, I mean, remember we'll this see is where our it goes. first podcast. We'll see how yeah, it goes. We'll see where it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, All right, guys. thank you for watching, and bye bye. -bye.